Good morning. What's today? Saturday. Happy Saturday, guys. Just woke up. I think it's a little after nine. Not good. I always like to to wake up really early. Anyway, you know those um like a month of me waking up at like six a.m. or something. I think it's because I was stressing over getting the house or something. But because I'm back to normal now after we got the house. But I did actually like waking up that early because I got to do so many things in the day. Like, my day off is so long. So I really liked it. But now I have my alarm at like 8 o'clock or something like that on the weekends. And I'm just turning it off and I'm like, back sleep. <laughs> so now it's 9. It's nuts. You lick my tooth. This is gross, yo. You're so gross. Gross! Ah! <laughs> anyway, because it's Saturday, um, Randy is working. There's like once a month when he gets the Saturday, Sunday off, but usually his days off is Thursday, Sundays. I was finally able to clean yesterday. Um, not the whole house, but I did um, the countertops and in the living room too. I wiped all the, the tables and stuff and then I vacuumed. Cleaned the floor here and I, I mopped the kitchen so it looks really good and it feels really good on your feet. But the carpet, even though I was able to vacuum it, it's still nasty. Carpet it can be really gross, especially when you have dogs, you know. So, anyway, time for breakfast. I don't know what's for breakfast. I did a lot of cooking yesterday, too. I'm so surprised of how much stuff I did yesterday. So, um, yesterday, it was actually Randy who did this, but um, he made pulled pork from the slow cooker and freezing that for when you know we're tired after work and then I made spaghetti sauce I think this is for tomorrow and if there's leftover I'll probably freeze it and then for dinner last night I actually made Japanese dish it wasn't very good this night. It consists of um, cabbage um, oh, it's like a leftover so you kind of get an idea there's a ground beef um, egg and the cabbage under under there's the rice so that's the soboro. Anyway, I still don't know what's for breakfast. Oh, hi Haru. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Oh, Haru can hear me. You wanna come in here? <laughs> you wanna come in here? Are you okay over there? You like to sunbathe? Go potty, Yuji. Go potty. He goes potty when you bug him and tell him to go potty, and then he actually goes potty. Otherwise, he's just like, la, 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 la. Tonight, or today, it's supposed to snow, and tomorrow not, and then the following day, it's supposed to snow. Um, so hopefully, they're not going to have issue up in the mountain tomorrow because we want to go to Roseville to celebrate Thanksgiving with my family but we'll see
Yaru, are you comfy? You look so comfy. Do you like that pillow? In a few hours, I got so busy changing a dress on the computer, making sure I really did it. I mean, I kind of did some of it. Um, when was that? A couple weeks ago. But um, I guess there were some stuff that I forgot, so I... Uh, did that and then I paid some bills and then what took most of my time is trying to figure out where to send my first house payment to. I was going through this thick of a paper trying to figure out where to send it to and then there's a letter that says that I need to make my payment to US Bank. Our loan is through Calcon Mutual, something like that, but they want us to make a payment to US Bank according to this paper. Um, and it says <coughs> that I need to attach the little ticket that they sent me. Um, it's got the information there like the loan number, all that stuff and the address that it's going to and where it's going to. Now that sounds easy, but then they sent me two tickets with two different names. One is through US Bank and the other one is through the Calcon Mutual. So I'm like, why is there a ticket for Calcon Mutual? It says to send it to US Bank. So I'm confused now. I'm still thinking of sending it to US Bank, but then, oops, I spit all over myself. I don't know, and I'm trying to contact people, but I guess US Bank is not there. It's not there on the weekend, so this is very convenient. Um, it's due on the first, so I kind of want to do it fast, but oh, what are you gonna do? It's not like the male people are going to come get it now. It's like 4 o'clock. No, 3.30. Um, anyway, other than that, that took my time. See all my crap over there? I'm trying to figure stuff out. Um, I want to show you guys the stuff that I got throughout the week that you guys haven't seen. So there's some new changes. Like in the kitchen, I bought this thing. Knife holder, maybe? That's what it's called. Um... What's cool about it is that you can put your knife that you have there already. So you don't have to have a specific size. It's only going to fit on a specific area of this thing. So let me show you. So it's kind of like sticks, really small sticks. And then you just put your knife anywhere you want. Same as there, so I thought that's really cool. They had a wood one too, like a light wood. This little basket um, from Costco, I think it was $15. Super cute, isn't it? So I decided to take my tea next to the hot water maker. It's like my little tea station. And then what else is new? Oh, I got this little table runner from Bed Bath & Beyond. Oh, and that one was from Bed Bath & Beyond. This one I got yesterday, actually. This right here. This was from Pottery Barn. It's $20 minus 30% off because of the Black Friday. So what's so cool about it is that this is huge. So I can put the Yankee Candle or the Bed Bath & Beyond candle. Not Bed Bath & Beyond. Bath & Body Works candle. Um, it's big enough, so I'm very excited about that. It, it makes my candle look better rather than it's just sitting like that. So, I like that. What else is new around here, guys? Oh! I finally got a hook or a coat rack. So now... Some stuff is there. By the way, I was pissed off yesterday, but that Randy left his stuff over there. I was like, Bruh, we got a coat rack. Why is it still on the table or, or the chair? So he put it over there after a few hours. I remember one thing that came during the week. My fake books. <laughs> so there it is. Anyway, I'm having a snack. 
Yo plate whips. Someone looks super comfy, you G. Hi. You look nice. Oh yeah. Show my outfit of the day. Outfit, outfit of, of the night. Outfit of the night. So uh, is the lighting all right? Yeah, it looks all right. Okay, so I did my hair as you guys saw. Um, for my face, I just have mascara and lipstick and the bangle bracelets from Nordstrom. It's Givenchy, and this is also from Nordstrom, Givenchy. And then the dress. I'm wearing my granny panties, you can't really tell because it's kind of fluffy, which I like. So anyway, the dress is from Nordstrom Rack in Seattle. I think it's like 25 bucks. I bought it like a couple years ago just because I liked it and it's cheap. And cha cha Now I wear it. I need to keep buying stuff I don't need now because I'll need it eventually. Yeah, oh and the shoes. Madden girl from DSW, probably like five years ago or something. So that's it. Oh, and then I'm gonna be using my little clutch here from TJ Maxx. I think it was like 20 bucks or something like that. But because it's freezing, gonna wear my coat thingy. This one's just from Forever 21. I kind of want to upgrade eventually because it's itchy and it's cheap. I think it was like 20 bucks from Forever 21. Um, and then this, what you call it, scarf is from H&M. 12 bucks. Love it. Want to buy more colors. So that's it. That's my outfit of the night. Um, I guess I'll see you there when we get there. <coughs> Maybe we both get them to do something. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> we get on camera. We're going to lie here. And, uh, <laughs> no, she's not taking a picture. Video. The video. So we gotta move instead of. Wait, let's get that move now. Oh, there's a. Oh, there's a. So we are done. It's almost 10 o'clock. <laughs> Five minutes to 10 and I'm like, I had enough. <laughs> it's bedtime. <laughs> We were supposed to go clubbing at 11, but I told her we're not doing that like right when she invited me. She said it's gonna start at 11, and I'm like, yeah. <laughs> Plus, I don't.
not really dance, so like, what's the point? I'm the most boring person you probably will ever know, and I'm perfectly fine with that. If you have a problem with it, then deal with it, because I have no problem with hmm. it. Dancing isn't my thing either. Um, if you're drunk, you can probably dance. I could, I, w I was dancing this one time at Lori's birthday, and I thought I was doing so good dancing. And a few, <laughs> few months later, you are like, you know how you were dancing at Lori's birthday. And I was like, ah! doing so good i had a couple of sips of some stuff i didn't really drink it just a couple sips brandy had a ton you didn't have a ton it seemed like a ton i could we probably were still drive the right when we when we got there i could probably still drive hmm. i wouldn't but i probably could i was totally hold, holding my part the whole time i was there <laughs> i have a take home food not much um but i got puto I don't know if there's a different name for the purple versus the white, but all I know is that they're puto. I like the purple one, and then Randy likes the white one. Look at them all comfy. <clears throat> I'm going to bed, but real quick, I'll show you this. So, check this out. snowing so we might not be making our trip tomorrow but we'll see what it's like in the morning good night